Wisconsin Department of Transportation is studying the use of the new asphalt mixture performance tester to analyze Wisconsin's most successful hot mix asphalt pavement designs. Well, in Wisconsin, being a glacier state, we have quite a varied geology. And one of the um, hard things about writing specifications is writing something global enough that everybody can use the concept. However, not all materials react the same and work the same. So we are trying to drive ourselves in a, in a direction to make good use of the materials in local areas versus trying to increase cost by bringing in or trucking uh, materials from other areas of the states. The mechanistic empirical design guise uses a, a wide range of, of factors from binder stiffness, uh, binder re rheological properties, um, and that data then is combined with aggregate data and weather data that come up with prediction models on what the pavement will perform as in terms of, of rut depth, cracking, and pavement smoothness. To generate the data necessary for mechanistic empirical pavement design, WISDOT needed to analyze those asphalt mixes that have historically performed well in Wisconsin. WISDOT turned to the Asphalt Mixture Performance Tester, nationally considered a leading asphalt performance test. This particular study actually was designed to give us that baseline. Um, when you use the Asphalt uh, mix Performance Tester, we didn't have any values, any numbers, any idea really of what the uh, stiffness of materials that we were developing uh, for the course of the past 20 years uh, in terms of strength characteristics. The AMPT study involved 12 mixes from four aggregate sources, with testing using two traffic design levels and two binder grades. Mixes were analyzed for dynamic modulus and flow number. The dynamic modulus test is a stiffness test of the asphalt mixture. Uh, what you do is apply a sinusoidal loading of very small strain to the sample and you measure its stiffness. So it's going to tell you how stiff the asphalt is. The other test that we ran is the flow number. And the flow number is a measure of the rutting resistance of asphalt. This data was analyzed statistically. Investigators compared AMPT measurements to those generated using predictive models and mechanistic empirical pavement design guide pavement rutting models to determine AMPT sensitivity to various design factors. And so in the future implementation efforts of trying to use the design guide, the mechanistic empirical pavement design guide, uh, the, the uh, data that we collected here serves as a database where they can begin to look at many, many sections within the state, the actual performance of many sections relative to what the design guide would predict uh, the mix should have performed. I think what you could probably conclude in general about the results is I think they verify to a certain degree current practice here in the state. Okay, that current practice in the state is reasonable. The Wisconsin Highway Research Program hosted a webinar for WISDOT pavement designers in July 2009 to demonstrate how WISDOT may use the AMPT in mechanistic empirical pavement design. WISDOT will use the results of this study to further evaluate the ME pavement design guide, perform additional evaluation of more promising mixes, and test additional mixes to continually improve the ability of Wisconsin's asphalt pavements to withstand traffic and environmental stresses. So the next step will be to take and go out and actually measure the in-place performance of the various pavement sections and compare those to the models. And the goal will be then is to further modify the models so that in the future, given a particular grade of, of asphalt binder, a particular aggregate source, that one will be able to develop these fundamental tests or run this fundamental test in the laboratory and be able to predict how that particular layer of the pavement will perform. The goal is eventually that we'll be able to engineer a, a pavement structure similar to the way you would engineer a, another building such as a steel beam.